So, as I've said in my previous video, my original idea now would be to start by doing uh, engineering equipment, uh, namely the circuit printer that you can see now, so that you can could build all the other machines that I'm thinking about implementing, and that you could have proper tools for construction instead of that test RCD that I made. Uh, I was going to make the content for engineering first, uh, but a few people have told me that they don't think that this project actually looks that impressive, and I gotta give it to them. It doesn't currently, it's mostly for technical uh, reasons that it looks uh, impressive, but those that cannot appreciate those reasons have no reason to be impressed by my project. So I figure I would skip a few steps ahead and actually make something that can convince a lot of people uh, that this project is indeed impressive. So instead of my model here, I started working directly on the singularity. Now, because I've skipped a few steps here, these models are even worse than the ones I had before, simply because I uh, didn't care about their aspect, only that they work as they were supposed to. So currently, the singularity is uh, this. This was the previous engine that I was using. Let me increase the size of the screen so we can see this a little bit better. We will be needing this, okay. So I set up the singularity like this. Uh, it will equal, occupy a space of 3 by 3 by 3. Uh, this here is the particle accelerator. It's currently composed by a single particle cannon and here and a particle controller. The player can already interact with this controller with a small HUD to change its settings, but uh, pretty much everything else uh, the player doesn't have to uh, touch it uh, much. Now, this part here, it's, it looks absolutely crappy and it's not supposed to be impressive, neither the cannon, and this here is the shield generator. You can see by the wireframe that the shield is spherical, uh, it no longer works uh, like it did in Space Station because, well, uh, in Space Station it's on 2D, making a, a field around the singularity in 3D is a little bit more complicated, so I've decided instead of only using one single shield generator that generates a spherical circle around the singularity. So, to start, here I have the particle accelerator, and this here is the power setting uh, that uh, you have on the currently particle accelerator. I'm going to set it at 3. And the particle cannon fired a uh, laser beam. This will power the singularity once it uh, appears over here. Just a warning, things could get a bit louder uh, ahead of the video because of uh, the things that are going to happen. Because yes, I will be releasing the singularity and it's going look amazing, uh, but uh, you might not be able to understand much of what I'm saying. Now, th uh, the particle accelerator is currently firing a beam with uh, a certain amount of energy defined by us to feed the singularity, but the singularity doesn't yet exist, so the shield generator, I will turn it on by clicking in here. The singularity appears, and the shield is already around, but uh, it's mostly translucent, uh, it's uh, rather transparent, but uh, it will solidify as its strength increases. You can see shell generator, it currently has a power of 32, 34, it's going to increase all the way up to 100, uh, at which point it will be considerably solid and uh, quite visible. And it's now circulating around it and everything. The singularity that I've been working is this. Uh, it took many, many attempts at actually making a singularity that looked uh, more or less uh, acceptable at least, and I think I've uh, done a good work here. It looks actually a little bit better when it's floating around in space eating the entire station, and we'll be seeing it later. But the shield is currently sustaining the singularity and keeping it in inside. Yeah, the singularity won't go anywhere now. And uh, those beams are actually being eaten by the singularity. Go inside. We can see the singularity here as two verbs, namely fuel and uh, Consumed. consumed is the amount of matter the singularity has consumed. As it consumes more matter, it will increase in size after a few stages. Fuel is the amount of matter it currently absorbed, and it will slowly uh, consume it and turn it into uh, consumed matter. The singularity is constantly losing matter, so if you don't feed it, it will eventually disappear. Uh, the particle accelerator, to keep it on the uh, same of matter you put this at 3 because it fires a beam every 6 seconds. In this way it will spend half the time increasing, half the time decreasing. So I'm going to set it at 10. Now. And 
the singularity will actually start to rise. This could take a little while uh, to, uh, to rise. The singularity changes stages at 200, 300 and 400. Uh, and once it's at 300 it will actually start to damage the shield around it, uh, trying to go free. Currently the shield uh, just stands there, because it changes much. So I will speed up things a little bit here. Singularity it's 200 and goes to the next stage. It grows a little bit bigger. It's currently occupying the entire uh, space inside the shield. The shield itself should still be maintaining its power. It's struggling a little bit now, but uh, it's still safe. And if you change it now to true, the singularity would, would stay the same. It has some fuel to consume yet, but it would stabilize in this form. And in this form it would produce max power. Uh, and this is how the singularity is supposed to be working normally. It actually looks quite neat, I like it the way uh, it's resolved. But what everyone wants to see, and what's really impressive is to see this thing actually going through the station and tearing everything apart. So we're going to do just that. In the setting we're going to put it 100 doesn't really matter, as long as it's a very large number. So the singularity is actually going to start increasing, but it only increases on one per second, uh, so I'll be speeding it up a bit, like this. At 300 it should expand, but it doesn't, because it's still inside the shield. However, at 300 and more, it starts to actually damage the shield, you can see the shield power is actually going down and the more the singularity expands the more it damages the shield at this point it would be a good idea to try to turn off the singularity so I'm going to speed up things a bit and the shield has almost disappeared you can see the transparency has uh, it's almost uh, fading and this is the part where things are going to get very loud and I might not talk much It's actually now on the final stage, I think. No, it's almost on the final stage. The final stage is at 400. And this time it actually didn't work very well because it went off uh, from into space. A bit anticlimactic. So we'll be doing this again. The reason it went into space is not entirely random, it has to do with the way I've actually done these things. Uh, singularities are now a little bit uh, more evil than their normal counterpart, because they, every time they eat an object, they steer towards uh, the position of that object, which means that if they eat a wall, they'll go towards that wall, which means that if they eventually start going uh, against the station, they will try to eat the entire station. They are actually one mean son of bitches now, uh, and they are actually infuse it with hatred. So I'm going to speed it up a bit here. It's actually increasing quite well, and the shield. Let's see if it goes towards the station now. Let's try it again. Third time's the charm. Tempering with it doesn't work very well. Let me oh,
says to speak me up to you, Bessie. He goes around the station. Hmm. Okay, let it go this time. Uh, it's probably going off into space now. Never to be seen again. Oh, wait. Oh, oh I can steer it. This just gave me an idea. I can make a remote control singularity later. Now that's the final stage. Go back to the side of the door to see how human it will pass the side of the door. Goes the elevator. Right, things make different sounds when they break. Metal stuff makes a metal sound. Items have a disintegration sound. Glass actually has a sound of glass breaking. It's actually working quite nice and uh, well. There used to be a station here. Now there isn't anymore. And it goes off right into the sunset, if there was a sunset in space. But here you go. This is the singularity. It's one mean son of a bitch. It will try to destroy the entire station if you're not careful. It looks gorgeous, it looks amazing. Uh, and it looks very, very dangerous. Uh, I think that this is actually an interesting feature and an impressive one in itself. And if this, there's anything that screams Space Station 13, it's probably a uh, spaceman running away from the singularity. Uh, I hope that this can get uh, some hope in the people that still don't believe that I can do this. Uh, and it, that it can impress uh, most of the skeptics. I know that I probably won't impress uh, everyone. I'm not supposed to impress everyone. Because uh, there are many, many attempts at Space Station and all have failed. And you have all the reasons to suspect that this one will just be another one. But uh, I don't think that any remake whatsoever done until this day has actually done a singularity. And I have done one. So I'm probably the first one to redo a singularity in 3D nonetheless. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and I hope I can finish the game and play with you so we can all go and be sucked to the singularity. So see ya.